Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is part two of our trek to Sedona. Uh, it's a beautiful drive, especially as you get closer to Sedona. Um, boy, there sure are some potholes on that I-40 if you've ever driven it. You know what, what I'm talking about. Okay, so I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. So we are now in Flagstaff. We went to Williams to see if we could camp there, but it is too muddy. Um, lots of good camping out there, but the roads are just too muddy. We don't want to get stuck. So we came to Flagstaff. We're going to eat some Cracker Barrel and then head off to Sedona tomorrow. Okay, so we're in the car getting ready to head to Sedona. It is a brisk 46 this morning. It was very cold last night. Luna's still feeling a bit pukey, but she's circling okay. to lay down. That's a good sign. All right, they're ready to go, so. because there's so many cool things to do in Sedona but a lot of them are closed now but just the sheer beauty of this place 
and the energy here is amazing. There's natural, natural vortex and I think more than one, I think there's several. Plus you got the Oak Creek running through the canyon. You got artists, there's a lot of artists that live here. There's a tremendous amount of art here. Crystals, all kinds of fun stuff, good restaurants. So, maybe we'll get lucky and while we're here things will open up. Wow, it's bumpy, it's washboard. So we had heard they're still letting people camp here for two weeks at a time and that it wasn't too crowded. So far the road looks good as far as being muddy. It's not muddy. Wow, it's beautiful here. We've never camped here. Been to they're some... trying to stay off to the right and I get the feeling this guy back there is going to want to pass. Uh-oh, I gotta do my duties. Copy that. Look at that view. We were here a year ago, met up with... Sal and Sharon are here somewhere, too. Oh, I guess... I was just saying on the radio, Sal and Sharon are here. Cool. Look at this jogger. What the heck is he trying to prove? Alright, good for you, buddy. He looks very young. Cool. So, I'm excited to camp here because we've never been here. Wish it was under better circumstances, but so thankful that we were in Arizona when this happened because they are keeping certain places open. Uh, well, sure, right down there. Should we uh, pull in there real quick and see if maybe there's room? Sure, we can. Um, they knew we were coming anyway. Oh, there's a bunch of people camped down here. Wow, what a beautiful camp spot. Does it look like there's enough room for us to all pull down in there? I don't know. I don't know. You gauge it. It's up to you. If not, then we won't bother. There's definitely not enough room to camp, so I'm just going to keep going. Roger. This is so freaking beautiful here. It is beautiful here. Oh my gosh. We were in an area at camp. Before. What? I don't know what. What'd you just say? Okay, well, I guess that wasn't important. I need three hands right now. We are running out of places to go. We want to be going to the northwest, but we can't go there. We want to go to Flagstaff as well, but it's super cold there. We just spent one night there and it was 24 degrees when we got up this morning. It's just a little bit, I mean, the car didn't even want to start. The dogs didn't know what to make of it. The gecko is freezing. So it was a little cold, a little abrupt, you know, no time to acclimate to temperatures that are that cold and also no time to acclimate to the altitude so at least with staying in Sedona for a couple of weeks we can get used to the altitude a little bit at a time it's like 3,000 feet here I think or 4,000 where Flagstaff is 7,000 so this will help us get used to the altitude I have a hard time with the altitude so have to get used to that and give it another couple weeks to warm up up there it'll still be cold when we get up there but there's lots of camping there lots of forest forest service roads you can camp off of well apparently I'm just babbling away yeah there's a lot more camp spots coming up Yeah, Kitty was talking on Facebook. She's back here somewhere, or she was, and she said the farther back you go, the more there is. Yeah, I talked to her on Facebook too. That was probably what I saw was your conversation. Uh -uh. Crap, I had it on vent this whole time. Well, that means the dust is coming in. Oops. What can I say? I'm distracted by the level of beauty here. It's ridiculous. Okay, ride this bike. Hey, what's up, buddy? I see some more RVs back here coming up. I'm guessing we're not going to have
don't have internet way back here, but that's the price you gotta pay sometimes for the good camping spot. It does make it hard to make these YouTube videos though without internet. The weather looks really nice here. It's 11.23 a.m. and it's 62 degrees outside. Hopefully there hasn't been many camping spots so far. Hopefully there's some more. Oh wow, look at the view coming up over this. See, that's a good spot there they got. At least this road is not too bad. I mean, it's washboardy, but there's way worse roads. But at least it's not muddy. There's no giant potholes. Dang it. They took that whole spot. We probably could have crammed our group All in there. Back there had It'd be nice if we could find one of these big areas that's empty. Like Ed said, let's keep going and then we can always come back. You know a gal that's parked back there, Kitty. There's quite, there sure is a lot of naked joggers around here. Well, I guess that's, <laughs> that's not necessarily a bad thing. What's up, buddy? Good Lord. All right, Lord, the Lord will provide us with the perfect spot. I keep saying that throughout this whole thing. I've been trying not to be anxious because I'm already a nervous worrier type person. Like when we were getting low on toilet paper and toilet paper towels, I just told, kept telling myself the Lord will provide. And then the other day we're at some random dollar. Shadow operator cars is following us. Yeah, it's following us. Yeah. But anyways, we landed at some random Dollar General and there was two 12 packs of toilet paper. So stuff like that keeps happening. We just keep getting what we need right when we need it. Right now we need a camp spot. The road's looking a little softer back here. Well, there's definitely a lot of people out recreating, biking, jogging. What's up, buddy? Nobody wants to wave. Private drive. Somebody lives out here. That's crazy. 525C. And it's pretty. Now we're where we're at. We're a decent ways away from the town of Sedona proper. You know, we're probably a good 10 miles plus the dirt road. But nothing's open anyways, so this is normally a very busy, busy tourist time of year coming up here. People come from all over the world to come to Sedona. They do the rounds here, they go to the Grand Canyon, they go to Sedona. Another private, private drive. Oh, leaving those houses back there, nice. That's a secluded house. We need a camp spot. Uh, bouncy road. There's a spot, but uh, it's too extreme to get in there with any of these big rigs. Damn, more spots back 
care of her to be taken. Uh oh, is this the end of the line? What's going on here? Or no, they're just stopped in the road. Oh, okay, they're having some kind of problem. Got a trailer coming downhill. Alright, well it is officially too hard to hold the GoPro and drive, so GoPro. Alright, we found a spot that might work. Look at the view. This is crazy. All right, so we're pulled over right here just to kind of assess. There is one other person parked over there, so they're probably like, what are you guys doing? But the view, what do you think, Luna? Luna says, I don't feel good. She's been pukey for a couple of days. Oh, I can just never get over the beauty of Sedona. Look how pretty it is. Wow, you can't beat this view. So as you can see, we have appropriately social distanced the rigs. We're far apart. All right, time to set up camp. Okay.